Why is this a picture language? Why is it all, uh, in a way, just painted space? It really is trying to say, I want you to walk the mind. Do you know? And this is what, when we see ancient sites, the labyrinth, it was to say, this isn't for you uh, personally, it's for you humanly, mm -hmm. because this is your deeper pattern nature. That's why what is astounding in terms of the pattern nature here is this painting of mine, um, which I created as a card, you can see this, as a card for my book, I'll pull this up, on the tarot. We look up and see Phoenix arise, and I completed this in 1997 after about four years, and was very happy with it, had no idea it had any <laughs> other properties, but it's going to help us understand really the mathematical symbolical structure of the nature of our story mm -hmm. and like life i don't think one could ever figure out this this is the outcome you'd say from going like this to this from the bud to the blossom is incomprehensible to the bud but this is what happened we begin with this question of who am i but to do this we're going to journey do you see through the time of the ancestors we're going to slow down the question of what does it mean to be human. We're going to ask it in all of its traditions because we are going to blossom finally through the mother, a unique womb, a unique identity. That's why this is painted on linoleum, meaning through the ordinary. But the fascinating thing as well is this is a nine inch grid pattern the tile are created by. So we have a perfect mathematical <laughs> matrix supporting this journey of the phoenix. This will show us these blossoms, but we'll also begin to journey on this bridge, do you see, reconnecting us back. And as we'll look here, do you see Gaia? The, she's quite beautiful. Oh, wow. But you think of, again, this willingness to be born to Gaia, to be children of the earth that came from the stars, to finally be home as human, no longer seeking to leave or return but to finally, you see, be here. And that's when we'll look down onto the floor and we'll see even how the story begins to show us this double womb of the eye of Ra and of the child, the mother and child. Because we think of this as the maternal womb and the eternal womb. Again, the knowledge of the eternal, the heron, the mother, the unique. And all of this is trying to, I'm convinced, bring us back into the picture. Like if you come here, and put your hand here. You start to see this story of the human hand, not just your hand. You see the story of the gift of life, the apple, and of the serpent, and of the chalice. Actually, in the visitors as well. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Do you see? Yeah. They're going to say we bring all of these stories together, all of them, so that when you put your human hand here, note that it is the gift of all humanity. It's not personal. It's that quality, and look what happens as we raise this, we raise up through her into the phoenix arise, and we see that we are born of all of this, and that's the gift of the phoenix.